differential reinforcement of other behaviors with a fixed interval. I, does it need any more explanation? I mean, just go to the other video on DRO, DR0, DRO, DR0, 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 differential reinforcement of other behavior. Go watch that video and then come back here and, or no, sorry, don't come back here yet. Go watch the other video on fixed intervals, which is about the first response that's going to be reinforced after a given amount of time has occurred, right? Or passed, right? So we're going to DR, we're going to put an F, uh, we're going to put a, um, a, what, a fixed interval, we're going to put an FI in combination with a DRO schedule. So when you're doing other things, something other than the problem behavior, um, we're going to reinforce that only after a given, after one response, after a given amount of time has occurred. So if I'm in the classroom, I might reinforce little Billy for doing something other than being disruptive every four minutes. So that would be a, a fixed interval four, right? So an FI four, and I would likely reinforce little dude um, if he's doing something other than being <laughs> being disruptive to the classroom, Mr. Cameraman, being disruptive to the set. The set. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Anyway, so every four minutes, um, you could deliver a reinforcer for engaging in a behavior other than the, 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 the problem or the target behavior. So that's really all it is. It's just mixing these things together, which is what behavior analysis is all about. Take these small components and mix them together to make something complex.